Happy New Year! This is the first episode of Men of Light for the year 2024, and uh, we are celebrating the wonderful feast of Epiphany, the Revelation. And uh, I would like to deepen our reflection with the uh, Attorney Bong Roque and Bishop Ambodabit in our Men of Light sharing on Matthew chapter 2, 1 to 12, as we celebrate Epiphany. Because in the Philippines, traditionally, we really know Epiphany as uh, the Feast of the Three Kings. When I was a young boy, I don't even know the word Epiphany. Alam ko lang Three Kings. <laughs> Tapos, uh, and uh, I see people who naka, naka costume ng Three Kings and we follow them. Tapos may procession. Pero in the Gospel of Matthew, he never mentioned the term king through Three Kings. No? He referred to them as Magi, wise men from the East. And uh, meron may, may, pang pangalan eh, Melchor, Gaspar, at Baltasar. Pero maybe that's from tradition, more than from biblical, from, from biblical sources. And uh, the three wise men from the East, Matthew further distinguished the wise men by the set of subtle description. Ako disto, may medyo na-challenge so yung understanding ko sa wisdom by this gospel. Una kasi first, these wise men, they were asking questions as they, they, they traveled. Di ba pag wise man ka, dapat you know the answer. <laughs> dapat ikaw yung tinatanong. But this time, they show, it shows that they are the one asking questions. And I thought wisdom is giving answer. Or you have all the answers, di ba? Magtanong kay Father Deo. Pero this one, it's consulting, consulting the ordinary people. And then, ikalawa po, these three wise men, represent humility. First, it takes a lot of humility to ask questions. So, parang you accept, I don't know, kaya I ask. Pero the other perspective of their humility is when they met the newborn child with Mary, his mother, they bowed down, they prostrated themselves. And other than that is the generosity of this, this wise man. They offered their gifts. Ang uh, representation nga dito, gold, frankincense, and meal. I think wisdom has something to do with humility and capacity to share and to give. And <laughs> lastly, the third part of our reflection is these wise men were guided. They looked up to someone. Here it's the star. They allowed themselves to be, to be guided. That led them to Jesus. This will be the three points of our reflection for our uh, uh, episode, this uh, first uh, uh, Sunday of uh, January 2024 and let us listen to our gospel to be proclaimed to us by Judge Jovai Mercado from Matthew chapter 2, 1 to 12. Pagbasa Mula sa Ibanghelyo, ayon kay San Mateo. Si Jesus ay ipinanganak sa Bethlehem ng Judea noong kapanahonan ni Haring Herodes. Dumating naman sa Jerusalem ang ilang pantas mula sa silangan at nagtanong-tanong doon. Nasaan ang ipinanganak na hari ng mga Hudyo? Nakita namin sa silangan ang kaniyang tala at naparito kami upang sambahin siya. Nang mabalitaan ito ni Haring Herodes, siya ay naligalig. Gayun din ang buong Jerusalem. Kaya't Tinipon niya ang lahat ng punong saserdote at mga eskriba sa Israel at itinanong sa kanila kung saan ipinanganak ang Mesiyas. Sa Bethlehem po ng Hodea, tugon nila. Nang mabatid ito, lihim na ipinatawag ni Herodes ang mga pantas at itinanong kung kailan lumitaw ang tala. At pinalakad niya sila patungong Bethlehem, 
matapos pagbilinan ng ganito. Humayo kayo at inyong hanaping mabuti ang sanggol. Kapag inyong natagpuan, ibalita agad ninyo sa akin upang ako may makasamba sa kanya. At lumakad na nga ang mga pantas. Muli silang pinangunahan ng talang nakita nila sa silangan. Hanggang sa sumapit ito sa tapat ng kinaroroonan ng bata. Kayon na lamang ang galak ng mga pantas nang makita ang tala. Pagpasok sa bahay, nakita nila ang bata sa piling ng kaniyang inang si Maria. Lumapit sila at nagpatira pa at sinamba ang bata. Binuksan nila ang kanilang mga sisidlan at inihandog sa kanya ang dala nilang ginto, kamanyaw at mira. Nang sila'y pabalik na, sinabi sa kanila ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng panaginip na huwag na silang bumalik kay Herodes. Kaya nag-iba sila ng daan pa uwi. Ang mabuting balita ng Panginoon. Happy New Year po ulit sa ating lahat and uh, we are at the first episode of Men of Life for 2024 celebrating Epiphany. Our gospel is from Matthew 2, verse 2 to 12. Salamat kay Judge Jovay Mercado, po si Father Deo Galang from the Archdiocese of San Fernando from our parish, Holy Cross, dito to sa Sapagbato. At ito po si Bishop Ambo David mula dito sa Diocese of Caloca and Happy New Year po sa inyo lahat. Buong Roque po, kasama niyo ulit dito sa Men of Light at 2024 na po tayo. Welcome, one and all. Nakala ko nun, Bishop, Attorney Bong, if you are a wise man, ikaw yung tinatanong. Or if ikaw yung may sagot. <laughs> ikaw yung nilalapitan ng mga tao. Hindi nila alam. Eh, maybe that's essentially part of being wise. For me, this is a very strong uh, the perspective of Matthew. Though very subtle, pero the wise men, the, the Magi, they were the one asking where, where, where the king of the Jews was born. And uh, it's a very, very strong implication kasi tinatanong nila yung mga tao na, along the way. They did not uh, ask consultants or the inner circles of the, like, unlike uh, Herod, he was also asking questions, but from the high priest. No? And sometimes the high priests are so high that they are not no longer in touch with reality or even the scholars of the law maybe they are scholars mm -hmm. of the law but they don't represent the voice of the people at, at times and uh, we see that this big difference between the Magi and even King Herod the, the asking questions yes gustong gusto ko ito uh, uh, first part ng ating discussion Father Deo actually sa Old Testament we have mga caricature wise men eh, like uh, for example, no, I'll give us example, yung si Prophet Daniel. You remember, he was an exile and he was discovered by uh, the one of the assistants of the, of the Pharaoh that he was a wise man, that he could uh, interpret dreams. Kinuntrata pa nga siya, hindi ba? So, ang wise man, siya ang kinukonsulta. And in general, that is the common caricature of the wise man. Kaya, talagang... I think si Matthew is making a statement by presenting the wise men here differently. Hindi sila yung tinatanong, kundi sila ang nagtatanong. Yung ganun, ha? And, yeah. and like you're saying, uh, you know, I think uh, make uh, uh, there is something that needs to be corrected about our common caricature of wisdom. Eh. Parang akala lang natin, wise yung tao kung uh, siya ang tinatanong. But in reality, how can we be wise if we don't even know how to ask questions? Hindi ba? Hindi ko po alam kung natatanda ni Bishop ang buo ito. Pero nung nasa 
Holy Rosary Parish pa po si Bishop Ambo at Auxiliary Bishop po po siya ng Pampanga. Uh, ang pong Ambo sent us to a counseling session. I don't know, Bishop Ambo, if you remember yeah. that. Uh-huh. You sent us to a counseling session. Kami po ni Lisa. Kasama po ako doon. Hirap na hirap ako doon sa counseling session na pinadala sabi ni Bishop Ambo. Kasi it's all about listening and asking. Mm-hmm. Eh, abogado ko eh. Sanaya ko kaya kung dinatanong eh. Sabi ko, ano ba tong session na to? Eh, dapat, uh, ay hirap na hirap po akong makinig at magtanong. Kasi normally, as a lawyer, professionally trained, I was as professional trained to give answers to questions. Hindi ako yung nagtatanong. So, so but, but it was humbling, uh, Bishop Ambo. Uh, siguro po hindi nyo na po matandaan yun. Uh, uh, by, by listening to those speakers about, about uh, uh, speakers sa counseling, I was, I, I learned something new and I got to ask them and learn something new from them. Yes, I remember that, Brother Bong. Yeah. In yung uh, seminar uh, na pinamagatang kaagapay Correct. and we invited a team from uh, the, uh, ano, yung uh, tawag dito, uh, kay Father uh, Ted Gonzalez. Correct, correct. Pinat niya yun, no? SEFAM, uh, Center for Cefam. Family Ministries People. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, San Bishop, we might also be guilty as an institution with this mm-hmm. presentation of Matthew. I think our church might uh, not fail to listen, uh, to hear the voice of the people. Kaya nga, I'm, I'm, I feel we're so blessed with Pope Francis when he pushed the agenda of uh, the listening church through the recent uh, uh, gathering that you had that really came from the parish. Ano nga siya, Bishop? <laughs> Synodality. Yes. Synodality is uh, the journey. Journey, no? Parang kamukha ng wise men from the East, they are journeying. And along the way, they were asking questions. That's true. It's very important for us kasi yung mga sa simbahan, tayo yung nagsasalita. Yeah. Tayo yung bigay ng homie, tayo yung resource person. But it is uh, another perspective of the wisdom of the church and Pope Francis. Yes. At uh, si Pope Francis, ito yung tinatawag niyang the census of fidelium, eh? the sense of faith of the faithful. Para bang we do not have a monopoly of the Holy Spirit na parang tayo lang ang magsasalita uh, on behalf of uh, parang as a spokesperson of the Holy Spirit because we're anointed. Uh, parang we are forgetting that you know, ordinary Christians and baptized people are also anointed by the Spirit through baptism. And uh, so they, they they have something to share also. Na sana, we should be disposed also to listen to the common people. And this is a big contribution of Pope Francis ngayon. It's humbling. It's humbling for the church. But uh, we have a long way to go. Pero Bishop. agree po ba kayo, Bishop and Father Deo? Uh, ma- mahirap eh. Mahirap makinig at magtanong. Yeah. So, Lalo na pag sanay ka, ikaw yung nagbibigay ng, ng, uh, ng advice, ikaw yung nagsasalita. Mahirap kasi it takes, it takes real humility to admit. Kasi by, by, by asking, it's actually admitting that you do not know something. That's why you're asking. That's, At mahirap po yun. Lalo na kung mataas ang pinag-aralan mo. Yung tipong... Ba? Sino ba to? Ano bang pinag-aralan niya? Bakit kailangan ko siyang tanungin? Hindi ba? Ito ko. Uh, yeah, but it it makes sense if you are going to be a parish priest, for example, in a parish. Yung bang, paano mo malalaman ang sitwasyon ng parokya nang hindi ka nangunsulta, nang hindi mo tinanong anong pinagdadaanan ng mga tao, di ba? Yung bang, to ask questions and be sincere about listening to their answers, di ba? Di ba, Bishop, uh, nasabi mo, and I was just uh, struck by by what you kasi naranasan mo yung synodality as an insider hanggang mm-hmm. doon sa Roma yeah. tapos sabi mo the presence of Pope Francis really is there from day one to the last day but he never said anything yung parang he was just there listening on the side you know? yeah mm, totoo uh, actually yun ang very humbling eh. uh, nagsalita din siya pero may kli lang yung uh, nilimit din niya yung sarili niya the way we're limited. So, kunyari, pag nag-intervene kami at 3 minutes, yung 3 minutes namin, yun din ang 3 minutes niya. Yung tipong uh, bago dumating yung dulo ng 3 minutes, tinatiming at ganyan na kasi mamamatay yung microphone mo. <laughs> o nga, no? 
parang tama nga naman kahit na kahit na pabiro pabiro lang kay kay Erap, 'di ba? Yung pabiro kay Erap. 'Di ba nagpunta daw siya sa court court eh. He was there to stand sa hearing. Pero Attorney Bong, hindi daw siya sumasagot. Hindi siya nagsasalita. Sabi, uh, Mr. President, why are you not giving your opinion? Why are we are being asked? Why are you not answering? Eh, sabi niyo, hearing ito eh. Hearing eh. Hindi eh, makikinig lang ako. Hearing eh. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ba, Attorney Bong? <laughs> wala, po sa, wala, wala po sa kwento. Wala po sa, <laughs> wala po sa script po yan. Bago yan, ha? <laughs> Hearing lang naman. No? <laughs> And I think real wisdom believes that uh, the more you know, the more you realize you know less. You 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 need to learn more. Diba? Real wise men know kulang pa ang alam nila. They don't... Ang, ang talagang ignorance when you feel you know everything, di ba? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> to realize how little you know. And uh, sabi nga ni Tony Bog, in case of doubt, Ah. <laughs> Don't po bawal na magtanong. Sometimes we are led to the biggest mistakes of our life. Even as an institution, when we don't ask the people themselves who are involved. In Magbabalik po, men of light, uh, we continue to reflect upon the wisdom brought to us by St. Matthew at the Gospel. And the third, second part will be how it is to find wisdom and humility and generosity in the Magi. Magbabalik po, men of light. Thank you for staying with us. We are still with uh, Bishop Ambodavid of Caloacan and uh, Attorney Bong Roque from San Fernando, Pampanga. I am Father Deo Gala uh, from our parish at Holy Cross, Sabang Bato, and also with Father, our director, Father Jonathan Bartolome. And uh, for the second part of our reflection, the wisdom sometimes does not, does not uh, blend with the uh, humility and uh, generosity parang sa totally different kategory, category di ba para wisdom is parang parang magaling pero this time it, it blends with the the image of the presented to us by Matthew through the magi that these wise men were humble enough to to bow down to prostrate themselves before the child no? before a child and the uh, and the mother and the uh, Also, to present their gifts, the unique gifts that they have, frankincense, myrrh, and even gold. Uh, this is a very unique description of wisdom, if I may say. Kasi po, usually, siyempre, pag wise man ka na, ikaw yung nilalapitan. Pero, to be humble, like, para kabalik tara nung kay, kay Herod. Kay Herod, maybe, is king, pero... I don't know if he's wise in, in reference to humility and his capacity to share. No, no one made an expression, Bishop, yung, the, the three wise men, the three kings bowed before the, the, the baby Jesus and offered their gifts. On the other hand, King Herod worshipped himself <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and kept his gifts. Yes, oh. uh, maganda parallel na parallel to do sa first point mo kanina about uh, asking questions eh. Um kasi uh, like uh, if I if I recall no yung wise man na si Daniel. Uh, you remember when they discovered that he could interpret dreams? Uh niregaluhan siya uh, for his services, no? Uh, you interpret dreams and if you are able to interpret my dream, sabi ng hari, I, I will reward you with gold and silver and, uh, and a position of power, you know, in my court, ang sabi niya. So yung tipong, ang wise man, niririgaluhan. <laughs> Pero dito, we have a different image of the wise man. Siya nagririgalo. No? Yeah. He's, uh, they, they are offering gifts, no? And uh, uh, mag-offer sila ng gifts sa isang bata, who did not even do any favor to them yet. Parang gano'n. <laughs> Hindi po ba tayo may again, Bishop and uh, Father Deo, sa Bible, pinapakita yung um, yung mga nag-aalay ng regalo sa mga hari. Hindi po ba? Mm-hmm. And, and ano-ano yung pini-offer nila? Uh, uh, very expensive gifts. Pero uh, I, I, I 
I uh, noticed in this in this uh, gospel that we have from from Matthew, the wise men uh, offered gifts of sabi ng Father Day, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Pero yung surrounding the setting was humble, a stable, baby Jesus lying in an animal's feed trough. I mean, why would you offer gold in such a surrounding? It's 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 a humble scenario. Uh, parang hindi siya fit for a king and yet they recognized uh, the, the wise men recognized Jesus as king that's why they offered him expensive gifts yeah but you know what else I like about this uh, part uh, Father Deo yung, uh, yung contrast mo with Herod eh. because yeah. uh, ito nga si Herod was too paranoid parang um, he did not want to lose his gifts mm-hmm. baliktad na baliktad eh, di ba parang uh, you know, I might lose my power. I might lose um, uh, my uh, my wealth. Parang ganon ba? Sino ba ito? He feels so threatened and feels so insecure. Hindi ba? Uh, he is the exact contrast doon sa Magi. No? Uh, it's uh, on the one hand, ang ini-emphasize is the wisdom of uh, of bowing down, which Herod could not do. I mean, why would he bow down before somebody else? I am the king. You bow down before me. Tapos in the wisdom of offering gifts, you know, siya nagre-regalo. Siya, no, no, I expect you. Ako, you offer you ng gifts because I am the king. Yung ganun, no? Para a, pang, deliberate, no? Yeah. Tapos, Bishop, pero pang isang ginamit na word si Macho, eh. And, uh, and the uh, Magi were overjoyed. Yeah. Sa Bible. Parang, look at the difference. Yung isa fear. Mm. Security. Right. Yung term dyan, he was disturbed <laughs> by, <laughs> with the whole of Jerusalem with him. Parang, pero on the other hand, here are the Magi. They were overjoyed. And they are, I mean, maybe that is the gift of of generosity itself and humility. The joy of, uh, siguro, isang isang uh, indicator ito. If you have joy in what you do, maybe you are on the right track, di ba? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, di ba meron pang, uh, anong bang kanta yun? Yung Little Drummer Boy. Uh, uh, yung I have no gift to bring. Parang papampang. <laughs> that's fit uh, to give a king, sabi niya. But I have my, uh, me, I have myself and my drum, sabi niya. So parang uh, yung uh, we all have our gifts. Uh, we just need to recognize what they are. Parang, I may not have what the others can offer, but I there is something still that I can offer. And knowing that and discovering that gives joy. And some people, even with the best of gifts, cannot be joyful. Di ba? <laughs> like Herod. Di ba? Parang, ganyan ka nakayaman, ganyan nakatindi ang kapangyarihan mo, and, and you're still... Uh, you know, uh, insecure and paranoid and cannot even be happy uh, about that. Parang, parang siya, parang commentary sa, hanggang ngayon, parang commentary sa buhay natin ngayon. Yan. Yes. You know, I mean, attorney, maybe, you know, people so rich. Yeah. So powerful, so influential, so educated. And, I mean, but still, what, what overshadow, what overshadow the, all, everything that they have is their fear of losing what they have or maybe their insecurity about another competition or another classmate or another neighbor, the neighbor of a bigger house. And uh, I think this becomes very, very, very old story. But until now, it becomes very relevant, sad. Yes. Gusto ko rin ano yung Father Day, yung bowing eh. Uh, because uh, hindi ba tayo mga Pilipino, yung, uh, we emulate the example of the bamboo. Di ba? The resiliency of the bamboo. That... Uh, Unlike hardwoods, you know, that will keep standing straight like that. And then when there's a bamboo, they crack and they fall, ganon, no? Uh, or they are uprooted. You know, the, 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 the humble bamboo will just bow like that, di ba? And, uh, and, and then will spring back like that, ganon, no? To, to have that humility to bow and let the wind pass by. Si Direct, di ba, yung... Uh, ang example niya dan yung kendo let the enemy fall on its own on his own weight yung ganun no? parang in, in, in fact that is the, the what happened to the life of Herod he fell yeah. on, his, on his own weight yeah 
without uh, without without Jesus doing anything. It's mm-hmm. on fear, it's on uh, insecurity. Siguro pa hindi man nakakatulog siya. <laughs> Even the massacre, di ba? Meron po tayong tradisyon yung after Christmas, yung Niño Sinocentes, no? Yeah. And nakakatakot doon because of this insecurity, because of this fear, and even when you feel threatened, you harm other people mm. with uh, violence and so on to, to protect yourself. That's the extreme side of uh, this point of uh, the mature representation of real wisdom. Ah, magbabalik po ang Men of Light. On third part, let us see wisdom from the Magi perspective as somebody who looks up to someone it was represented by the star in the gospel tingnan ho natin mamaya for our reflection Thank you for staying with us dito sa Men of Light. We have a third part of our reflection. Instead of a Bible trivia, we push through the uh, the Matthew perspective of uh, wisdom from his description of the Magi. Though very subtle, pero nakikita ko natin, merong, merong pinupunto si Matthew. In contrary, the contrast dito, yung the reality of uh, at the background of the, the King Herod or Herod himself. Yung katlo po, the wise men, they looked up someone. No? That's the star. They were guided. May, may pinakikinggan sila. Hindi lang yung masa, hindi lang yung tao. Yung box po, puni box. They, they, the, the people. Maybe like a prayerful man, after consulting your people, you begin to pray. You look up to someone. Like Jesus himself. He consulted his father. <laughs> meron siyang disciples, yes. Meron siyang followers. Meron siyang 12, uh, 12 apostles. And yet, even in the most difficult times, he was consulted before crucifixion, even at the uh, transfiguration. Oh, he was seen discussing or maybe reading the books of, of Moses and Elijah. And these are expression of real wisdom. Yung, you look up to somebody. Oh. Ang mahirap kasi parang wala ka nang pinakikinggan. No? Parang I'm already at the top of everything. Sino pa ba ng top? Ikaw, ikaw. Ikaw, pakikinggan ko. And then, I hope we could also see this as a wonderful expression of real wisdom. Alam mo, Father Deo, um, ito yung time na talagang ang central symbol is the star. Eh. At uh, di ba, we have immortalized the star in our uh, Christmas parol, the lantern. No? Um, and uh, ang gandang pagmasdan yung development sa tradition. Uh, kasi ang Western Christmas, nakafocus siya talaga sa Bethlehem scene at uh, Jesus, the baby Jesus born in a stable, di ba? Pero ang Eastern Christmas ng uh, Eastern Catholics or Eastern Christians, even Orthodox, ay nakafocus sa Epiphany. At ang Epiphany, ang symbol niya is the light in the midst of darkness and that's the star. And that star becomes Christ himself, the star of Bethlehem. Kaya doon sa Bethlehem, pag dumalo kayo, you really stoop down. Uh, and uh, merong isang place doon where there is a, a star, you know, on the floor, where, which is believed to be the very area where Jesus was born. And then you, you're supposed to bow and kiss that star. Parang... Uh, the it's consistent pa rin, no yung image rin ng the, the humbling of self no yung uh, looking up in order to be guided and uh, it takes a lot of humility again you know to admit sometimes that you need guidance you know from people who might know better uh, or from role models di ba at uh, if you remember there was a time na in encourage ko yung yung bang gumawa ng a different kind of christmas tree Tapos ang ihang na mga palamuti doon sa Christmas tree ay mga cut-out stars with faces of people we admire, people who have guided us all our lives. That would be a nice advice, no? Yes, that's a nice assignment, in fact. <laughs> yes, Attorney Bob. Yes, uh, bigla ko, along, uh, uh, following the, the input of, uh, comment of Bishop Ambo, sabi ko bigla ko lang naalala, meron ding uh, study that says uh, we are molded or influenced by the five people we spend most of our time with. Parang 
um, hindi lang role model but people you you spend most of your time with. Sabi ko, napaisip tuloy ako sa sinasabi ni Bishop Mabu para sino ba yung star mo? Sino ba yung sino ba yung limang katao na yon na na, na 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 nagiging modelo mo, you pattern your life after or probably unconsciously you adapt them. Diba? You 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 adapt their kind of life, their 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 ways, their their values. Napaka-importante nung, nung nung guidance ng mga taong 'yon o yung star na tinatawag natin. Yeah. Even na uh, yung 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 ibang sinatawag natin during our time, pag sinabing superstar athletes, di ba? <laughs> yung mga superstar sa athlete, ngayon, si Jordan, <laughs> si Rafael Nadal, si Roger, Roger Federer, Michael Jordan at our, our very own <laughs> Manny Pacquiao, no? But they all all of them are superstars in their own right. Ang galing. They are the best in their in their le- level. But all of them, if you notice, they have coaches. They look up to their mentors. Yeah. Sometimes like like Nadal, uh, yung si Tony Nadal, parang uncle niya. Tapos si si Roger Federer, nagkaroon pa siya ng parang crisis sa kanyang karir nung namatay yung si Peter Carter, yung pinakaunang yeah. coach niya. Yeah. And you see, yeah. you see this the big difference between people who are just on their own Yeah. But some some people who are humble enough to be formed and to be mentored. Ah, uh, Bishop, ay uh, Father Deo, napakauso rin ngayon yung mga interviews. Uh, you mm. mentioned superstars. Di ba madalas, mad- makikita niyo po yun mga videos, mga reels. Ini-interview yung mga superstars na tinatawag natin, either artista, singer, athlete. And they are asked, who is the GOAT? G-O-A-T. The greatest of all time. Madalas yung tanong na yan eh, sa mga nag-interview. And we, it's surprising that they didn't they didn't become superstars by themselves. They mm-hmm. also looked up to somebody. Yung kanilang G O A T, even if they're already called the goat, the greatest of all time, they had goats. Yeah. They had goats. They had goats. Um, uh, uh yung mga superstars ngayon, they always it's basketball among them. They always looked up to Michael Jordan. Yeah. Alam mo. Uh, alam mo uh, attorney bong uh, di ba talk of the town ngayon yung gombursa yung historic yes. film no and um napaka intense nung motif na yon noong mga role models at mga goat no uh, una no si Father Jose Burgos eh ang kanyang parang uh, yung guide talaga nila was Pedro Pelaez no tapos nung namatay si Pedro Pelaez uh, si Burgos mismo became a star to um, Buen Camino, to uh, Pasiano Rizal, ganun. Tapos si Pasiano became a star to his younger brother, si uh, Jose Rizal. Tapos uh, doon sa eksena, doon sa loob ng, uh, ng bilangguan, when na parang nadidiliman na ng isip si Jose Burgos because he was feeling depressed na parang minamalas ang Pilipinas. And uh, si, ano, the one who served as a star there was Mariano Gomez. Eh, wow. eh, hindi ako naniniwalang kamalasan itong nangyayari kung ang kamatayan natin ay magsisilbing mitsa na magpapasiklab sa liwanag ng ating paglaya sabi niya, then hindi ito kamalasan kundi kalooban ng Diyos ang sabi niya yeah. and that's when Burgos lighted up and he said, liwanag oo, liwanag yeah. and uh, yan, yeah, I think this is very epiphany Parang ito yung motif ng epiphany niya yeah. Among Deo, bago lang po tayo magtapos sa segment na to, uh, baka lang po kasi makalimutan natin na uh, I'd like to make this point also. We look up to stars, but let's not forget that in a sense, we are also stars. Yes. If we live in the light of Christ, there will be those people who will, who will follow that light and discover the Jesus in us. And yes. sabi ko nga, I, I, I always say this, eh, uh, ang, ang prayer ko sa so parang Uh, Lord, uh, mm, uh, for those people may, who may not know you but know me, may they know you because of me. Yeah, right. amen to that. Yeah. Uh, sabi mo nga, Attorney Bong, there is no such thing as a self-made man. Isa kasi ang ginagawa nating introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, our next speaker, so successful and so intelligent, and so a lot of uh, achievements, he's a self-made man. <laughs> Hmm. Wala bang teacher yan? 
wala bang magulang yan wala bang taong nagturo sa kanya no? so i think uh, real wisdom is when we are humble enough to say it's not from me no? somebody guided somebody Amen. and uh, this is the magi image of wisdom they say magic kaya nga po itong ating reflection and we will come back after a few moments we will be reading the facebook feedback of our friends and also our greetings of our birthdays and celebrations of our men of light community and the prayer of uh, Tony Bong Roque and the blessing of Bishop Amoda. Magbabalik po ang men of light. We are at the last part of our Men of Light, uh, our reflections on uh, the wisdom of the Magi, ang ating uh, epiphany episode for 2024. Bishop Ambo will be uh, reading to us the Facebook or even YouTube uh, greetings, and I will uh, uh, greet our friends on our communities, uh, Men of Light, our simple assignment, and the uh, prayer of Attorney Bong Roque. Okay. Um, wala na akong babasahin sa Facebook comments kasi uh, they're really basically elaborations ng uh, ating mga points dun sa reflection. No? So thank you, uh, Facebook community, for uh, en enriching our discussions. Uh, sa YouTube, I'd like to read a few. Uh, si Luke, uh, Luke Mill 0305. In Christianity, there are no takers, only givers. We be Christ like uh, Christ already in us, sabi niya. Um, ayun. Uh, thank you, men of light, for your reflection. See, uh, saints, Pat and Jude, wow, so inspiring about family life. Thank you, po Bishop and Fathers. It, this reminds me again about the importance of family in union with the Holy Family. Thank you, God bless you, and a joyful new year to you. Um, tapos sa uh, Umulit si Luke, uh, uh, Luke Mill 0305, ang sabi, in-address niya akong eminence, sabi ko sana sa kanya, don't address me as eminence, I am not a cardinal. <laughs> no. uh, sabi niya, he is a Joseph fight. And he, prophetic. Uh, uh, no, daw, parang uh, deboto ni San Jose. And he heard daw from a holy priest that... Uh, uh, he follows online na St. Joseph was the first communicant when he received the baby Jesus on uh, in his arms. I think what he means is kasi ang Bethlehem is called the the Bethlehem. Ibig sabihin, the house of bread. Ganun, no? Tapos Jesus lying in a manger, parang a feeding throne. No? So, uh, uh, in a way, yes, uh, symbolically you can say uh, in the house of bread, he was the first to receive Jesus. Um, so symbolically, maybe you can say it's correct. But I think uh, ano ito, parang, uh, this is in reaction to what I said about Judas as the first communicant. Na, uh, parang what you are going to do, do quickly. And Jesus got a morsel of bread and gave it to Judas Iscariot. Yeah. Okay, yun lang muna. Ang ating, uh, thank you, Bishop. And our uh, our birthday celebrators from the Archdiocese of San Fernando, ang mga pari po natin ng birthday, ang Kabalen, si Father Norman Vito, January 12, but birthday among Norman, and uh, January 13, si Father Jose Lito uh, Vital, happy birthday. And uh, sa ating mga kaibigan ng Men of Light and our community, on January 7, si Engineer Roy Espiritu ng St. Jude, at anniversary din nila, mag-asawa ni Ate Josie Espiritu, our wedding anniversary and birthday ni uh, Engineer Roy Espiritu. And then uh, also, uh, birthday din ni Crispin Cadiang uh, from uh, uh, Margot, uh, St. Joseph, uh, St. Uh, San Antonio de Padua Chapel Community. And also January 8th, uh, birthday ni Ate Sita, Teresita Celis. And also, wedding anniversary ni Architect Dan and Joanna Dison at uh, wedding anniversary din ni Jesse and Alice Kuyugan. Happy anniversary po. January 9, uh, birthday po ng ating kaibigan si Kuya Marco de la Fuente and, uh, and uh, January 10, birthday po ni Joseph Ocampo, Sincha Policarpio 
and wedding anniversary ni Kuya Boy and Irma at Irma Via Cruces. And then January 11, birthday ni Mika Roque. <laughs> Yay! Galing, galing ng pagkanta nila, no? Na, ano, YouTube na may Christmas uh, song. Sana we'll have more of that. <laughs> and then uh, wedding anniversary din naman ni Engineer Noel and uh, Merly Gomez. January 11, birthday ni Ate Lita Caparas. Isa po sa ating mga uh, community parish uh, uh, barangay leaders of uh, San Antonio de Padua at uh, Deca and Our Lady of Lourdes communities uh, dito sa parokya. And then birthday din po ni Kuya Don Pineda and Judge Gemma Logronio. Happy birthday po, January 11. January 12, ibigyan po natin si, si Lea Taliorin. Uh, God bless the Taliorin family. And then January 13, a birthday po ni Ati May Peña. Good health, Ati May. And also JP Passion Salas. And the wedding anniversary po yung primo, Ati Lisa Valerio. May assignment po tayo. <laughs> assignment po natin, yung reflection natin ngayong epipan one, one shining image of uh, this uh, gospel is the, the, the star that guided the Magi. Can we thank the people who have been uh, stars in our life? Our mentors, our guide, until now they are helping us. Maybe help us to understand what we don't understand. They are there to assist us as a star guiding us. Our mentors are like coaches in life. And then the other ch more challenging part of our assignment can you accept to be a star for another person without doing it uh, formally? Parang maybe to guide, especially for the young or friends. Sometimes we just need somebody to to open ourselves so we can listen. It's more on the listening that really guides us and clarifies our questions. Uh, can you be a star to one another person? Somebody who needs guidance. Uh, ito po ang ating assignment sa Men of Life. Ngayon, uh, Atty. Bong Roque will uh, guide us and lead us with our prayer and Father, uh, Bishop Ambo will bless us. As we make this prayer, we ask for wisdom from the Spirit of the Living God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God Most High, You appeared to us as the Savior and the Lord of all peoples. You allowed all of us, with no exception, to partake of the love, compassion, and saving power that you offer. And because of your coming unto us, our God has not become exclusive for a few, but inclusive for us all, with you, we all are now welcome into your fold. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for manifesting yourself unto us. As you open yourself to us all, we now lay bare our hearts to you. Like the wise men who bowed to your kingship, we want to have a humble and teachable spirit to take the place of the spirit of pride or self-sufficiency in us. Grant us the insight to truly see and acknowledge our limitations so that we may lay our egos at your feet, Lord Jesus. And as we are stripped of our pride and egos, move our feet to humbly approach others, to seek their help regardless of their status or position and to learn from them and be filled with their insights and experiences. Touch our hearts too that we may willingly share with others the gifts that you have so generously given unto us just as the wise men generously offered to you their gifts. Our gifts after all, are not meant to be kept for ourselves, but to be shared with others because we have been gifted to give. Finally, we pray for wisdom that despite our status in life, 
we may constantly look back to and be grateful for the people who have served as our role models and guides. As we are not meant to navigate this journey of life alone, grant us the discernment to recognize those who can lead us closer to you, people who can inspire us to grow in wisdom and humility. And please, Lord, constantly remind us that in a sense, we are stars too, to other people who look up to us. May we live in the light of Christ so that those who do not know God but know us may know God because of us. We offer this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and King, who is the incarnation of wisdom and humility. Amen and amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Attorney Bong, for that wonderful prayer of uh, becoming a star and thanking the stars in our life. Our Epiphany episode, dito sa Men of Light 2024. Ito po si Father Deo Galang, nagpapasaramba po sa inyo. God bless us. Let us follow the stars in our life. In your midst. At ito po si Bishop Ambo David. Happy Feast of the Epiphany to all of you. Bong Roque po, this new year, continue to be blessed and be a blessing.